Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm eating a little piece of my keto friendly shepherd's pie cause today is St. Patrick's Day. I don't know when you guys are gonna get this video cause I've already uploaded quite a few videos yesterday and today. So I have to, you know, give my videos a chance to peek and all that. But, um, so yeah, so I made a shepherd's pie. I made two. I made one for David and the kids with regular mashed potatoes. And I made mine with mashed cauliflower. That's why mine is a little flat because cauliflower doesn't have the same consistency as potatoes. And it has um, veggies mixed in with uh, ground beef and topped with mozzarella. Mm -mm. I'm having myself a leprechaun marathon. <laughs> Every year, gotta watch that leprechaun. Uh -huh. I love that cheese on top, you guys. Mmm. So yummy. But anyway, um, every year for St. Patrick's Day, we used to do uh, a potluck. But these, like last year, we, we couldn't have one because of the pandemic. And then this year landed on a Thursday. So like all my friends work and everything and um, David as well. So we're not really going to have like a party this year. But yeah, every year like we would dress all dress up in green. Everybody would bring their own potluck dish. And I always made a shepherd's pie. And then once I started doing keto, uh, I always make two. I make a regular one for all our other guests and my family. And I make a keto friendly one for me and whoever else would like to try the cauliflower one. <laughs> But, mm. oh my God, you guys are so good. Yummy. Yeah, I just got myself a serving here while I'm watching my movie. I'm trying... Cause this is like actually my lunch. So I'm trying not to eat too much during the day. This is basically all I've had today and a coffee that I had earlier when I broke my fast. So I'm trying to hang in there till tonight cause David wants me to eat a slice with him. So I'm doing two meals a day. So this is lunch and then I'm gonna have another small slice for dinner so that I could eat <laughs> with him. when he gets home from work, so. These leprechaun movies crack me up. They're so funny, like, it's not scary at all, but it's like Chucky. Chucky's not really scary, it's just funny. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, so what traditions do you guys have for St. Patrick's Day? Like my friend Veronica, she does uh, corned beef and cabbage. I know a lot of people do that, but I always do my shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. Mmm. <laughs> but yeah, you know, everybody, everybody has their own traditions. So I have a trick for you guys. If you want the consistency, because like I said, your mashed cauliflower is not the same cons thick consistency as mashed potato, actual real mashed potatoes. Because it's, it's a veggie, it's mostly water, so it's watery. 
So I have a trick for you guys. If you want it to thicken up and look like actual mashed potatoes, you want to mix your cauliflower mash with a little bit of almond flour and a little splash of heavy cream. And it's going to thicken up and it's going to turn into like a mashed potato consistency. And that's how you get it to kind of like stick a little bit together and not so runny. So when you make your shepherd's pie, you could actually cut out a slice because that's how I like my shepherd's pie. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, oh my God. There is so many alternative, alternatives out there that you can do to substitute for, for carbs. And you know, do more of your healthier carbs instead of like refined carbs and sugars. And this is definitely one alternative. throughout my entire keto journey. I have pretty much always substituted cauliflower. So cauliflower mash instead of mashed potatoes or cauliflower rice instead of actual rice. So, and it saves you on calories because believe it or not, a lot of people are under the impression that when you do keto, you could eat as much, you know, meat, protein, and fats as you want and not count calories. If you don't put yourself in a caloric deficit, you will gain weight on keto. You're not going to lose weight on keto. Um, so, yeah, I think a lot of the people that knock keto down. A lot of the people that knock keto down is because they don't really know how keto works. Also, because the fact that a lot of people go into, into it, into something like keto, being a food addict. Now, don't get me wrong. I went into keto as a food addict, but actually I was able to beat my addiction. But some people are not able to beat their binge eating disorder or their food addiction. So they will blame things on keto but actually it's that they're doing it all wrong if you consume too many calories even if you are on in ketosis which is fat burning mode you're gonna gain weight you're not gonna lose weight you're gonna be very unhealthy because you're filling up your body with all even though they're healthy fats you're filling up your body with unhealthy fats and you're eating way too many calories so yeah if keto is not working for you uh, maybe you're just eating too much. Mm. That was so good. <laughs> Why, Lucy? Oh my God, you guys, that was so good. I wanted to share my lunch with you guys. So both Veronica and I are binge watching <laughs> Leprechaun on Peacock TV. I have all four movies, actually all five, because then they made like Leprechaun Origins or something like that. So I have the whole collection, but I hate digging through all my movies because sometimes it's so many and it's hard to find and like Peacock has them all, all of them ready there. So yeah. <laughs> I'm watching the second one now, Leprechaun in the Hood. It was funny. Whew. Oh my God, that actually filled me up, you guys. That really filled me up. See, when you um, when you lose such a drastic amount of weight, your stomach reduces so much that even if you wanted to eat as much as you used to before, like you just you can't. Like there are times that I can't go beyond a certain point because I'm just so full. You know, you're as you lose weight, your stomach shrinks, so you can't fit that much food in it anymore. But ah, uh, that was so good. Anyway, you guys, oh my God, 
I really don't even know. Like, I'm going to try my best because I feel bad because I know David really wants me to have, you know, like a slice of shepherd's pie with him. But I might have like half of what I actually had now because maybe I'm just talking now because I got really full. But I don't know. But regardless, even if it's just a little piece, you know, I, I will sit down and have some with him. <laughs> and this was delicious, you guys. So if you want to try this, this is how I do it. Like, I think people do it differently, but I always layer mine up. Okay, so if you're going to make a regular shepherd's pie, non-keto, how I do it is that I, you know, I do, I cook my mashed potatoes in one pot, my ground beef in another. I buy those packets of Lipton vegetable mix and I mix it all together with my ground beef. And I add my my seasonings or whatever to my ground beef to give it flavor. Okay, so one pot, I got the mashed potatoes already done. Another pot, I have my ground beef all done. So then I get a, an aluminum pan or, or some type of casserole or whatever. You could even use, I glass casserole is even better because it doesn't stick. So what I do is, this is how I do it. Like I said, people do it differently. This is my style and I love it like this. So in the bottom, I put one layer of mashed potatoes. In the middle, you got a layer of all your ground beef mixed with the veggies. And then on top, another layer of mashed potatoes. And on the very top, mozzarella cheese. And I put it in the oven for like 30 minutes for 350 degrees. And the recipe for the keto version is the same exact thing, but I use cauliflower mash instead of mashed potatoes. So yeah, I hope you guys try it out and I hope you enjoy it. It doesn't really have to be for St. Patrick's Day. You can make it whenever because it's so delicious. And you got your versions. You got your regular version and you got your healthy keto version. So there's always options out there for you guys. Um, I think that people should do and i have always said this people should do what works for them keto is what has worked for me so keto is what i do but at the end of the day is like i always teach as long as you're in a caloric deficit whether you choose to eat carbs or not you will lose weight as long as you stay in a caloric deficit but if you go over and you're in a caloric surplus no matter what diet you do you will not lose weight so you know, it's common sense. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini mukbang. And I will see you on my next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.